Okay, we're unmuted. Cams, pain in the ass cams are all going. I, uh, I've already had my moment today that makes me realize I'm still sleep deprived. I, uh, I just crashed my computer about five minutes ago by something that I know leads to it crashing. I, uh, when, when you have two Logitech C920s in, in apparently many instances, uh, if they're both plugged in when OBS is launched, your computer will blue screen. I know this. For some reason I thought OBS was on and I plugged the second camera in and then I realized OBS wasn't on and like idiot, I just opened it and my computer just instantly blue screened. So not that that took a half an hour. Okay, apparently 47 minutes. Um, <laughs> um, two o'clock should be perfectly reasonable, but lately I've just, I've had a little bit of trouble guys. So, I appreciate you guys' patience. And let me, uh, it, I mean, it makes the, the tweets in the Discord even more important when I'm slightly off schedule to, like, actually let people know when I'm live. So let me just get a tweet out. Um, what are we working on here? Day 10. Is that right? Yes, day 10. Um... I keep calling it this and I don't remember if that's what we actually went with calling this which like I love this is I, I this is another instance where it's like I really really wish I could keep this on longer but we gotta we're in the home stretch we can't we can't slow down now for sure this looks a little bit out of focus well no I guess it's okay the bottles are in focus the bottles are in focus the mat is not in focus but the, these are, well, wait, we have one more. Where's the silver? These are what we're going to be water marbling with today. These are what's on my nails in this manicure. So, um, mm, finish this tweet. Shouldn't stop in the middle of what I'm doing. I'm, uh, like I said, a little bit of a spaz, so I need to concentrate. Um, Tweet. Okay. Discord. Um. Mm. Even my even my typing is is suffering. I'm just like making all these mistakes. I I need more sleep. We're we're in the home stretch though. Um. I can sleep on I can sleep on Wednesday. <laughs> um, actually, I can sleep in on Tuesday because we've decided to do Tuesday evening instead of Tuesday afternoon. So I can sleep on tu Tuesday. I can sleep in. Um, I can't spell. I can't type. Excuse me. Okay. That is done. Um, I see people are here. I can see chat again. Hi, Fuzzy. Hey, Mrs. Sh Mrs. Shredo. A little bit tongue-tied. Hey, Music Gal. I hope I don't look as tired as I actually feel. I mean, I did take time to put on makeup. I mean, my little bit of makeup. My eyebrows. Before stream. I, I was kind of joking, kind of not joking. The post I did, uh yesterday yeah music gal i'll zoom in for you these are these are bomb and i just just a couple minutes ago went outside and got some sunlight pictures because uh i mean you can see a little bit of like the depth and the blue and the green and the red but like in the sun the whole thing sparkles and you can see we've got sun <laughs> i'm gonna have to close my close my curtains a little bit more I think it's just this winter angle. In the summer, it's like, 
you know, higher in the sky or whatever. God, I like, I kind of have spots in my eyes now. I, I unintentionally blinded myself. Hi, Anne. Um, and, and I had a thought, what, what I think is a really good thought for the water marble because, um, when we were water marbling, we kind of hadn't really decided, um, like what base color we were going to use here. And so, like we've got these water marble tests that are just the gemstone colors. And I even remember saying like, oh, ruby and emerald and sapphire. And usually there's diamond too. Well, we ended up going with the silver. We need to test the silver in this water marble. I need to find a strip to, there we go. So we're gonna do that. We are gonna test, um, we're gonna do two tests. We'll do one over silver and one over green. Oh, I should zoom out a little bit again. Sorry about that. <coughs> um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do two tests, inclu including the silver and the water marble, and then we're gonna like get right to it. And since we're doing chevrons, and since I mean, it, as long as these behave in the water again, we were getting cup wide designs. We can get three nails in there. And then we can dip them and pinky together. This could be a four cup water marble. It, it should be all good. Knock on wood. No, no jinxes. No, no, t no take backs or whatever you want to say. Like, please cooperate with me again, polishes. I just want to try adding in the silver and see how it goes. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, I really can. In fact, is there a. I'm, I'm just, okay, like, I'm looking at where the sun is coming in here, and do I have any sun, like, coming through on the desk? I have a little bit, like, right here. I don't, can I get the, I'm, try, I'm trying to show you guys what these look like in the sun. I haven't uploaded the pictures to my computer yet, or I would just, right there. <laughs> or I would just show one of the pictures I just took outside. Ah, oh well. Oh, well, but, um, they're, they're really, really sparkly outside. Let me close this. In fact, <sighs> it's real. I know people are like, it's winter. You're crazy. It's really nice outside today. It's, uh, it's in the forties actually. And, uh, I was quite comfortable outside with just like my hoodie on and my slippers. I mean, my slippers have, you know, actual soles, but, um, I went out to take the pictures and took Bean out with me. He did not want to come inside, but he did decide to join us like a good stream kitty. <clears throat> yeah, it really, it's, it's very hit or miss this time of year. It's kind of a weird winter so far. All the snow is kind of, you know, to that gross stage where there's dirt poking out underneath. And especially today, stuff is melting all over the place. So we might have a brown Christmas. I think it's technically brown Christmas if you have less than an inch of snow. And we probably do right now. So, main goal today, aside from getting an awesome manicure, you guys, I think anybody that watched yesterday may be able to guess what today's main goal is. And that would be to not knock over a bottle of polish. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that just be like a freaking amazing thing? I think so. So let's let's try to make that a reality. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aw, beans. Those freak of squirrels out there again. So I thought about, do I want to just add the silver in there or do I want to, um, alternate it? <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get some, I think I'll try one each way since we're doing two tests and we'll see which one we like better. 
Because sometimes, like, sometimes I can visualize things, like, quite well. But often it just doesn't turn out quite like you visualize. So it's always good to actually test. Oops, just need one of these. <coughs> they really are. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun just to watch the cat be entertained by them, but... Please stop trying to build your your nest so close to my house, like on the house, on the on the vines growing on the side of the house. <clears throat> Goodness. Okay, so I just need I just need to be very very careful of what I'm doing. Very very careful. And, okay, I'm not forgetting anything, right? Okay. I just feel like af after, like, I literally, when I, when I plugged in my, I went, for anybody that just showed up, I was just saying that about five minutes before I started stream, I crashed my computer by doing something that I know crashes my computer by just not paying attention. When you have two of the same C920 Logitech webcam it uh if they're both plugged in at the same time when you start OBS then your computer will crash and for some reason I thought OBS was already open and as I was plugging in my my second camera I was like it's so dumb that I have to like have this as part of my routine of unplugging and plugging this and then I realized that OBS wasn't open and like a dumbass I just went and opened it and my computer just instantly blue screened and I instantly knew why and I was just like why did I just do that so the the lack of brain is still real <laughs> and I just need to and last night when I was editing I was editing the green water marble I said the wrong day in the intro I had to record a separate voiceover which I hate doing but like like a lot of times you'll see I'll just stick like a little text box or whatever and they're like oops said the wrong thing I was like oh, it's 12 days of Christmas I, I have to fix this it's like it, it would have bugged me too much to just half ass a fix on it so I just need to be aware that I'm not fully aware and and compensate or attempt to compensate um, I maybe should have cleaned the surface first yeah, because this silver didn't spread out very far. Or does silver not spread very far? Oh, wait, we decided one of these orders was actually better than the other, didn't we? See, I'm already... We've already done testing, and I forgot to actually consult this testing beyond considering that I did want to change it. So, it's like this let's let's put you at the end okay oh gotta lurk for a while gotta cut your son's hair be because he doesn't like getting it cut fuzzy or because you're not a professional hair cutter we'll pray either way but you know god know what we're praying for here if we just need to pray for a calm child we can do that if we need to pray for good style outcome we can do that too all right you see how nicely these are going so silver you gonna play nice it's kind of thick i'm kind of tempted to thin it i mean it's still it's fine But it is, it's probably because it's a stamping polish that's so a little thicker. And because of that, I don't know if I want to thin it out because then it would be thin for stamping and that probably would not be ideal. You want to push it blue? You know, the, the thickness of it makes me reconsider. But we'll, we're still going to test it. So I think we can get away with like 12 here. 
oops got a little goober there in this case I'll just pull in the direction of that goober oh this has a very weird consistency in the water mm. but it works that's nice Oh, this is a very satisfying cup of polish. A little bit of edges. I didn't I didn't make sure that it went all the way to the edge. But still, you see how like I was saying? This is this is room for probably three fingers. Two two if I wanted to be on the safe side. Of course, do I want to go at an angle or do I just want to go you know picture three fingers wide two would probably be safer unless I got a really 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 clean cup we'll see <clears throat> um, we'll do this okay doesn't even barely show up over the green or is that because it's blended in with the red too both both rings the silver kind of blended with the red i wonder i'm i'm not super a fan of that because the silver is not obvious <coughs> mm. that's tough fuzzy how old is he Of course, he might already be bumped. He might already be gone. Hmm. I hear sirens. Probably ambulance, because I live close to the hospital. 16, almost 17. I was just wondering, I mean, would it be possible to maybe teach him to do his own? Like, you could maybe help him out or coach him, but then he could, you know do it himself if he if, if that would be more comfortable for him and I mean like I super have no idea that might that might be a stupid suggestion but because there's a lot of different you know not not necessarily with scissors but there's a lot of different like attachments for uh clippers and stuff um that can make it easy to easier but i don't know if that would be an option um i i'm not sure if i want to reverse the order on this and see if we get less bleeding or if I want to try one with the silver alternating in between each color. I, I should do the alternating because that's what I was originally thinking. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay in the same order because we know that the colors themselves work good in this order. And we know that this, well, we don't know because the cup was not fully clean, but the silver did not appear to spread super well on its own. And the silver doesn't really want to drip. So what I'm kind of having to do is to make sure to get an extra large blurb and actually touch it to the water because of its uh, consistency. And then kind of pull it off and not like glom too much on there I don't think I'm going to get a full round of 12 drops in here probably I should stop right here mm. nope I'm doing it Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That's okay. Ooh, now though the silver is starting to dry a little bit at the edge. Is it because I took so long? And it's curdling. And it's curdling. Um, and I'm referring to this type of behavior. Not all of it. Why did that section do that? I, I don't think this is viable though. There it was again. Right there. inconsistent inconsistent uh, lines no no it's very blendy and bleedy the silver is kind of dulling all the colors I think silver is just going to have to stick with being the uh the base color. That's what I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's why I said I wasn't sure if that was really an option. I wasn't sure how much like grip he had. <clears throat> hmm. I really wanted to find a way to get the silver in there. Hmm. well it's it's not it's not going to happen I do think I want to stick with the chevron design hmm. yeah that's that's disappointing the other the other decision was the base color and I do how stained the water already is I'm kind of tempted to change it for the uh, for the video but I don't I don't think I have enough left in that cup to do a whole new cup the other the other larger cup mm. I, I still kind of like it with the green background you guys I really do <laughs> Because it just, it pops the green out so much more. It, it But it dulls the red a little bit. It's still a little hard to show. There, that's not too bad of an angle. You see what I mean? You see how much they kind of blend together here and how much greener the green looks here? Of course, the blue still blends in in some portions. I'm I'm indecisive. Of course, I suppose part of it too is that I think these are all ending on red. What if I ended on green? Mm. Hmm. Did I I don't think I don't think I actually did test with red as a base because I just assumed that it would make the green too dark. I mean we've got like oh, I'm just this this is probably another symptom of my sleepiness, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so indecisive and I mean the base color is something that I have to decide. Well, wait, actually, no, I don't have to decide it right now. You guys, we got a peel. We have, we have a peel here. <coughs> I'm, I'm sitting here thinking I need to pick a base color before we can basically move forward, and I'm not even ready to do a fucking manicure yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Needs more sleep. I wish coffee like actually worked for me also because that would be uh oh we're gonna need the camera dur, 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 dur. let's 
Well, at least I didn't forget. I could also see myself doing that. Just like get finished peeling and be like, oh my God, I didn't record it. Whoops. Okay. Um, I think. I, I had to adjust this again. Um, let's make sure we're, we're pointing in generally the right vicinity. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, that, sh that should be good. Okay, so we need to find our edges. I need to adjust this camera more like like that that should be good okay let's uh <laughs> oh man this I all of a sudden realized that this may be a challenge I mean I thought it might be okay there we go maybe just that nail is one that's gonna be stubborn Cause like really this isn't even this isn't even twenty four hours. It it took us so much testing. I don't think we finished this manicure up until quite late last night. Well, yeah, cause we raided Doctor Crotron and he doesn't usually start until eight o'clock. So uh, where where is the edge here? Why can't I? Hmm. Ugh. But the other good news is, uh, we we are really entering the home stretch of the series. Um, I I can't find the edge here. Okay, what if we go over here? Okay. There. Um. Like, the, the, blah, blah, blah. this on my nails is day nine. We're going to be recording day 10 today. Um, then tomorrow we'll be doing day 11 and Tuesday evening we'll be recording day 12. And then I'll just have to wrap up the editing, which is, I mean, no, no small task. The editing is not my favorite let's leave it at that and uh hopefully i can I, one of these days i need to just get two done i need to just i don't know because the the ending of this is actually perfect timing except for the fact that there's still extra editing to do um because this week is also going to be like baking and stuff in preparation for cookie day. I, I'm going to be like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, solid baking, you guys. Wednesday is sugar cookie day. Um, Thursday will be fruity fold over day. And then Friday will be actually cookie day where we frost all the sugar cookies and uh, exchange the other cookies that we've made. AKA my favorite day of the year. Um, and a tradition that I, that I do plan to continue is the 12 days of Christmas nail art cookies. So all, all these nail arts that you guys have been watching me do will be recreated in frosting and that's going to be awesome <clears throat> oops and then i'm so glad this is this is a good peel so far because i this this manicure really grew on me 
Like, I was, I was so excited about it, and then I, like, was disappointed in the color paints and got less excited about it, and then we found these colors and did this testing, and I got excited about it again. Yeah, that's a good peel. Mm. I saw a thing to show me about frosting. Ooh. I remember the first year I decided how to do frost, or I, did, I figured out how to do frosting like water marbling. Or it occurred to me, I mean, it was something I had done before, but like when I, it occurred to me that it actually was just like water marbling was like, whoa, a breakthrough. I also was thinking about earlier today how the first year I did these 12 days of Christmas, I was working a full-time job at the same time. I mean, that was probably the easiest year because the, the first 10 days were all just single, single finger tutorials. Um, But like when I think about doing this while while working full time I'm like what what the hell ever in the world inspired me to do that in the first place and how did I manage it cuz I feel like this has taken almost all my time as it is of course these like I said are full manicures and they're a lot more complicated than most of what I did that first year <clears throat> Let's see. And I I feel I feel I I hope I'm not coming across too like oh. I I feel low energy for sure you guys. I I thought I would get to bed early yesterday and editing just took longer than I thought. That's always true. <clears throat> Oh, is this where you do it in the in the bowl and you swirl it before you fully mix it and then you dip it in? Let's see. Yes. Yes. You want to see something? Let's let's see if I can find it uh quickly. Um God, I need I need well obviously I can't do that during stream, so I need to chill out. Okay. Last year last year would have been probably what the twenty first No. Uh, here we go. Twenty third. Um. Was it not last year? Was it the year before, or did I just not take any pictures? Oh, I must have. Narg. Um. Okay, hold on. Oh, I really want to find this. Yeah, I love that technique. I really want to... Okay, hold on. Okay. So it should be here. should be here. should be here. And in here. And probably here. Please tell me I took a picture of it. Why are you opening over here and why are you opening gigantically? Mm. Oh. There's no pictures of it. I know I've done it at least the last two years. I don't want to go back any farther. I I know I know of that technique is what I was trying to prove. I love that technique. It's kind of like like there's doing it that way comes out really organic and cool 
I can't believe I didn't take any pictures. And yeah, I've been I've been thinking, like how how am I gonna do this in uh, in frosting? Some won't be too bad. The wa- the water marbles actually probably will be some of the easiest ones. Although in some cases, like anytime I use black, we don't usually have like chocolate icing or something. So it's always kind of a question of what am I going to replace this with that doesn't look too weird. Okay, let's let's get some cotton because I don't have any more cotton here. Um, one day my gigantic salon roll will be empty. Today is not that day. We'll just loop this right here through this. Can hang out and be handy. Yes. Like, and we don't, like, we don't have those kind of uh, dyes like it looked like she was using like the it looked like the gel kind we just have the regular old you know kind um but you can do the same thing like when you drip it in there because it's the the heck is this beanie hair in the ugh, in the cotton when you when you drip it in there and then when you instead of just like instantly mixing it into the frosting like doing a little bit of swirly action like that and uh, um, like dipping dipping the cookie in their face first and it's a little bit messy it is I mean I'm it's not a dipping in cookies directly into the frosting like that is not a technique I'm super familiar with so at least it's messy for me Does this look like oh there we go had a little bit of, little bit of gel. All all the frosting gets a little messy eventually, though. Gotta have, gotta have some cleanup rags for sure handy. Oof, da man. I was chatting with Doctor Crotron earlier in his, uh, in his gunpla stream. He was asking about Hollow Knight's dreams, and I said I was thinking about doing one tonight if I had the energy. And I'm thinking about that right now. I'm just like, oh my god. <clears throat> if if maybe if this if this manicure goes good, it could be invigorating. Might give me energy to get through the whole rest of my day. I gotta pick a color for that to happen, though. Hey, you gonna settle down? Yeah. <laughs> um let's get in there I've got some under the nail polish seeped in there from cleanup a lot of times you don't ever even see that until you start taking your manicure off but I just get in there with the, with the orange stick wrapped up in the uh in the cotton ball Okay, same thing like around the cuticle if you got something that's really like in there. Got quite a bit of glitter around the cuticle. Oh, these things are stubborn. Might actually go in with my nail implement and I know I'm gonna say it, scrape it off. Especially right after using polish remover can soften it up a little bit. Prismatic sky. They have two two pinks and a taupe. It looked like I saw on Twitter that it was an announcement to uh, new hollows and it was a hollow trio. And I kind of wanted to look more and I kind of didn't because, <laughs> man, I don't need to be purchasing any Zoyas right now. Oh, these little glitters are so stubborn. 
Oh, and my cuticles are a little bit of a mess. Sorry for anybody that hates when I do this on camera. <laughs> I know it can be cringy. I promise it's gentler than it probably looks. Oh. You know, I, th I thought it looked familiar. And then I was like, hmm. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just imagining that. But yeah, I have Brighton. So that means I don't need the trio that they're apparently selling it as. I, I kind of... I mean, it's nice for pe for some people, but that kind of annoys me too. Because it's always like... Man, why are you bundling stuff I already have with stuff that I want? We're going to Michael's, you guys. What are we getting today, Music Al? Oh, Christmas light capable glitters. Wait, what? Oh, for your nails. For a minute, I don't know. My my brain didn't didn't process that sentence very well. When Dr. Crotron was tri was trimming his gun paws with a little razor, he goes, you don't ever use a razor on nails, right? And I was like, well, no. I was like, but my little nail implement is pretty sharp, and sometimes I use that to scrape at stuff. <laughs> so much of the Gunpla stuff. Hey, Amethyst. We, uh, we just finished up the peel. We're working on my cuticles because they're full of glitter. I'm really tired, and I feel like I'm... I, I hope I can make an entertaining stream for you guys. I need to just, like... You know what I probably need is more sugar, so I should finish drinking my tea because I put a lot of sugar in my tea. I'm tired is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but uh, you haven't missed much. Oh, and we did a couple little tests. We did a couple water marble tests because I had the thought that maybe we could add the silver into the water marble. But I don't think that's going to work because uh it's like a little hangnail i i mean i slept but i the editing took longer than i thought and i was up later than i like really intended like i wasn't up till six again but i was up until five so that was that was not great but I, I still like I, I and I'm aware it's not great and I'm like okay you know you need to work on it or whatever but um like I still feel like it's working out better than like pushing it off and then like either trying to wake up early or try to squeeze it in before or after stream like I'm already not making the uh, two o'clock stream start time very very closely <laughs> I can only imagine if I was trying to trying to edit before stream because editing after stream, I mean, shit, if I'd have waited to edit until after stream yesterday, that would have been a problem because <laughs> yesterday's stream was ridiculously long. So, but we're, we're in the final stretch and that's what I'm really concentrating on. Um, you know, the, the manicure that we're working on today is day 10 and then day 11 and 12 and then we're done and and since day 12 we're doing in the evening i can sleep in on tuesday after he got mantis claw yeah that turned out to be well you were i'm, I'm trying to remember the the sequence of events but you know how he got stuck in the city uh turns out that was a bug um mick popped into chat and then he reached out to sean who's the guy that does the randomizer and sean had forgotten about that quirl bench when he added back in the uh the behavior for the guy that take the statue that takes the crest like that didn't used to be there most of the time i think they changed it to comply with the bingo boards because sometimes uh, inserting the city crest is a bingo goal. So 
Mick, Mick said that the randomizer has actually been getting almost daily updates because uh, more people are interested in it. Sean is on his winter break and there's this big tournament coming up. I'm just like this peeling spot here. If I had good gel, I would, I would give this a layer of protection. But with the gel I have right now, it'll just crack off. It has cracked off several times. And I just, after the last time I was like, well, you're not getting any more. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm intentionally not fully on camera because I know and I suppose there's, like, as many people as find this cringy, there are people that would find this super satisfying. But, uh, in, in this case, I think the number of people who find it cringy, especially, like, on not yourself, because, like, when you're doing it on yourself, you know you're being gentle. And sometimes when you see other people doing it, you're just like, oh my god, no, it's too rough. It has to be too rough. It looks horrible. And, uh, so yeah, that's why we are, we are not on camera. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so we, we told him how Doc got stuck in there. And he basically used one of the mods that is that is basically a cheat that people use for uh, practicing to get out of the city. Because we just, we were racking our brains. We were stuck in there for so long. Um, and it turns out we weren't forgetting anything. We weren't being dumb. That actually it was a bug. So, that's that's my story about that. And most of you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about? But guys that, that hung out with me last night in Dr. Crotron's stream till the wee hours of the morning. Oh, during, during my dinner and during my editing first half. Half? Yeah, I think I got at least half my editing done during Dr. Crotron's stream. yeah yeah and and they're a little bit fascinating too but they're kind of like i mean they it it's 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 like drastic because like on a normal toe that's like all stuff that should be just like attached and like not like and it and it would be painful but since it's not attached i mean obviously it's not painful for those people but it just I think that's part of why it induces a little bit of cringe in me. But I mean, God God bless the nail techs out there willing to do that shit. That really probably makes those people's day to go from having a really fucked up toe to a presentable toe. I couldn't do it. I know most... And I'm sure if there's like some chishy places where you can be like, I don't do pedicures. But, like, that would be one reason just right there, even if I wanted to deal with fucking people all day, which I don't. Well, I would never want to be, like, a nail salon manicurist. I don't know. Maybe that's an incorrect perception. I've only ever been inside nail salons, generally. I remember I went one time with a friend. But other than that, it's only if I'm going in there to buy some nail polish. I'm dusty hunting or something, which I haven't done in a long time. I got most of my, uh, my true lemmings. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of amethyst. Hey, Karen. <sighs> okay. Just a little, little bit more clean up on these cuticles, you guys. They're, I think they're looking better. There's a little bit of dryness and, and uh, what what is the technical term for the cuticle part that you can scrape away? That That's like not actually the cuticle. The car, part everybody always calls the cuticle is not the cuticle and the cuticle is like up under the nail. I mean, I, I know all that stuff on a level, but I never can keep it straight. So I'll, I'll stick with the pleb terms. Um, When I prep my nails with the uh, acetone that'll get rid of any of these little dusty bits and then after my manicure as usual I'll moisturize and stuff my nails are just super dry 
because of all the manicures too nails and cuticles winter and 12 days of christmas like pfft. should actually be impressed by how semi-decent they still look <laughs> mm. yes please please lurk while driving musical <laughs> Although I suppose if you have one of those cars that like can hook up to your phone, you could put you could put me on your speakers and I could I could keep you company all the way all the way. But maybe maybe that is what you're gonna do. I mean you said lurk, not BRB, so we're we're going to Michael's, anybody that just joined us for um glitter. Light Christmas light glitter. Christmas Christmas light glitter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See, see, that's the thing, though, Jackie. Because like those, like they've got, and I'm not sure if even it's all just like like sometimes it looks like okay, that has to be like some kind of nail fungus or something. Sometimes it's just like man, your toe looks like it got slammed in a car door somehow. Or you know, like the 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 nail and the nail plate have been damaged and it just doesn't grow properly, or it's been like ripped back and only partly is adhered. But uh, I I don't know. And the other one too is those ones where like the nails are curving and they like acrylically attach those little metal bars to help it grow out straight. Like whoa. It's like some technological shit going on here. Texas Beast type technology. This is what technology is for. <laughs> for keeping up with Twitch chat while you drive. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy. All the mistakes I've made today. I'm nervous about this water marble, you guys true true story yeah I definitely think it has to be a relief when it's done because even if it doesn't hurt I feel like you that would be a hard thing to trust somebody else to do like to get get up in your toes to that level of course by the same token I don't know if I could ever do that to my own toe if my toe were in need of such. Hey, B babe. Glad you could join us. We are just cleaning up my cuticles a little bit, pushing them back a little bit, getting rid of some of this clingy, clingy glitter. I don't even know exactly what the glitter is from. I mean, it could be from any of them. My my hunch is that it's probably mostly this green because you could see how the glitter pops out like that. I mean, the blue is sparkly, but the glitter isn't quite that same size and shape. The red is mostly just hollow, and so is the silver. So it's my guess that the green is the culprit. Or, I mean, in some cases, could even be a little bit of leftover glitter from Trixie. Although Trixie is not that glittery. just can't read chat and look at what you're doing I'll, I'll try to be a good narrator I'm working on that I can I can blather on all day but I'll, I try to blather productively and to find a nice balance between like fully reading every single chat but still like reading enough for context for people that are just listening and reading enough to make it obvious like which comment I'm responding to I'm still learning a little bit of that balance. I still feel like a baby streamer most of the times. Shit, half the time I still feel like a baby human. And that's like, shit, you're not a baby or a child. You're an old lady practically. Well, maybe not an old lady, but certainly a full, fully grown adult. But I, I think that's kind of a common feeling at certain times. Everybody feels that way sometimes, like... Wait, I'm I'm an adult. 
<laughs> when did that happen? Mm. Don't like people touching your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think your kids have to have a, a certain level. I mean, he, he, he's, he's part of you. <laughs> so he could touch you much as you love your husband he was he didn't he didn't start out inside you <laughs> I mean when you give birth to a little person I can just only imagine that that's like a different level right there it's it's a level that you can't create with anybody else because it's not it's not possible okay why are the cuticles on my right hand so much worse than the cuticles on my left hand like I've got hangnails and they, they get the same amount of attention they get the same amount of nail polish they get the same amount of cuticle oil and lotion I mean feet are kind of gross most cases I generally feel like a pedicure makes them less gross because look at least you at least you gave them some attention <laughs> you know in my own case uh you know like I have the the dark mark on my middle nail here I've got a lot of that going on on my toes so I'm super self-conscious about that I'm less self-conscious of it on my nails like when I'm when I'm wearing a French manicure or when my nails are naked but on my toes it I, I just feel like it's very very unflattering um even in the winter I prefer to have a pedicure and like right now my pedicure looks like shit I I com I'll confess to you guys okay true simple little confession I committed the cardinal sin of trimming my nails my toenails with the polish on them because they were just too damn long and I was like well I don't have time to really fuck around with this but let me just ch -ch -ch -ch. and um yeah yeah that's my true confession tickle <laughs> them mm. <Deckle> <laughs> oh your husband takes your polish off that's so nice mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um most base i mean some base uh, uh, any base coat will help some with standing be babe i usually just use ready for takeoff and i don't know that it specifically prevents staining and i i have had standing with it a couple times in some cases in spectacular fashion but i don't worry about it too much i actually well, it, it, it's, if you don't know it's there, it's impossible to see. A couple months ago when I wore rhinestones, the rhinestone left a stain right directly in the middle of my nail. It looked like my nails had little bullseyes on them. And that is only just finally growing out. Um. Okay, we're about to get ready here. I'm almost done putzing around here. Putzing and chatting and prepping usually i mean usually this is stuff that i would not do on stream but you guys you guys have been clamoring for the peel porn so if if we do the peel on stream then we got to do the the post manny maintenance on stream also i i just feel like it's a horrible thing to do because it means it probably means you're not giving your your toes like the full treatment like you're not giving them their their cuticle attention i didn't even file them i should do that because that that irritates me too though because i could feel it in my socks like these little super sharp corners and didn't you know do any of that stuff it's just like the and and most importantly if they're long enough to need to be trimmed they're long enough that your pedicure has grown the fuck out and you need to do a new pedicure so you shouldn't be trimming them with the polish on because you should be taking the polish off and putting new polish on but i did none of that i haven't i haven't done a pedicure since my trip to california where i where i wore sandals exactly once <laughs> well this is 
Okay, just just one. Um, but it was sunny out, and boy, my toes looked bomb. I was glad I did it. Yeah, if I, I mean, if I, if I really get irritated with staining, there are a lot of remedies you can do for it. The one I really, really like, but is heavy duty, I mean, it, it really dries your nail out, is baking soda and peroxide paste. Um, let's see if I, okay, we'll, we're going to go on a, on a mission again real quick to, uh, to my Instagram page for an example because it should be pretty easy to find. I don't think it's that far back. It's not as far back as I had to go for that other example the other day. Here we go. See, it's right, it's right here because I haven't been posting on Instagram that much. Um, this The staining on these, what was the Zoya song? The staining was really lopsided because of my patches. But my, and my, my, and the, the tip the tip didn't seem to stay in the same way as the nail bed, which is weird. Um, that's the worst staining I've ever, ever had from a polish. And that transformation, those four pictures in that, that post are all the same day. So you, you can read the post. I go into, into detail in the post of what I did at each step along the way, but... If, if it's not to that level, generally, I don't worry about it too much. <laughs> that's, that's what it takes for me to get at, to take action on my staining. Okay. Do I want to, oh, these cuticles are so bad, you guys. Okay. We'll call it a day in just a second. Okay, stop. Stop messing with my cuticles. <clears throat> oh, good, Fuzzy. Good. Did did you do anything different or did you just I'm I'm so glad for you. That I, I can only imagine I mean, like you said, it's stressful for him, but as as his mom, then that is automatically stressful for you too, I'm sure. Yes, yes, musical on filing your nails with polish on because uh, in independent of your smell lines, I definitely understand that because like uh, like this nail right here, I have a very long nail bed compared to the to the nails on either side of it. So if I'm just looking at the free edge, I'm like, oh man, that nail's like way too short compared to the others. But when I look at the overall nail length, they're actually consistent. No, I just, I know when I, when, like I said, when I do that with my toes, it's because I'm completely doing the cheap, cheap. I mean, she, not is obviously free because I'm doing it myself, but the, the cheap outweigh, that's, that's not a saying. The, the brain is having trouble with words again, you guys. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Likes listening to the chat. Yeah. Nah, just good vibe. We sent our good vibes and the good vibes were received and did their job. Okay. So let's uh clean up with acetone. Like I said, that'll get any little loose skin bits or any of the final little tiny small places of polish, hopefully. And make sure that my nails are super, super clean and dry. So that we can hopefully have good uh peel off base coat adhesion i'm talking like captain kirk <laughs> cuz i can't think of the right words all right hey kittens Team Pretty Nails member reporting for being observation duty. <laughs> ah, hell yeah, kittens. Welcome in. T 
today in being observation oh we uh ouch that was that was my own fault i just like slightly hurt myself with a q-tip because i was going under my nails is the, is the lighting okay i don't have my other light on and now that like the sun is going down a little bit if i get up again i'll turn it on you can see being okay i was just like it, it he looks a little bit dark why is it not lit up and i was like oh well because i forgot to turn it on the light these are these are daytime streams not evening gaming streams where all almost all the lights turn off <laughs> since everybody said they don't mind it mm. oh no <laughs> you tell them they're getting ready to be speedrunners <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Amethyst that it was a little bit more short round than Hubby because hopefully Hubby if he saw that he was pushing buttons and it and it went to Chinese would instantly push the opposite back button instead of returning to the menu <laughs> if you're still in the language screen it's not too bad if you get back to the menu all bets are off you're gonna have to google that shit or you could you could pull up one of Dr. Crotron's videos when he's switching from uh, from speed running mode to casual mode. He goes into languages sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, especially after I was just under there cleaning with the uh, with the orange stick in the corners. I mean, the, the undersides of your nails are delicate, people that that is something that i am probably rougher with than i should be but uh i i hate it when there's like polish and stuff like ground under there like i hate i like if, if so if there's dried polish under your fingernails guess what that's not any more dirty than the dried polish on top of your fingernails right obviously but the look of it is kind of gross and it leads to that myth of people with long nails and oh that's so dirty like okay bitch do you use a nail brush every time you wash your hands because i do because i don't want my long nails being dirty and they're probably cleaner than yours mini rant over but then i realized like you know i'm i'm catering to not being seen that way by removing something that's not even dirty but that just looks dirty and then i get like too aggressive with it and then it's like oh ouch yeah just the little kittens it's it's part of the of the of the sleep deprivation therapy that we're that we're doing right now during 12 days of christmas <laughs> oh yeah yeah well just like you said the other day and he ended up at uh would you say uh soul master i mean that takes some doing that takes some doing the bench isn't close to soul master okay i'm so tired you guys <laughs> let's let's try to keep the loopiness to a minimum maybe maybe going into professional mode will help or maybe professional mode will fall and crumble into pieces um okay camera camera please um doc doc was streaming earlier i don't know if he is still streaming he was saying i i want to go check i have i have to go check i basically have to go check uh the vod because he he said that he was gonna he was gonna uh light up the gypsy danger today he thought he was gonna finish the uh the the assembly piece of it and uh how did why are you on that there he, he was gonna finish up the assembly and he was gonna install the lights oh we've still got sunshine okay okay base coat base coat and things <clears throat> okay <laughs> There's lots of horrible kinds of therapy music, Al. <laughs> Sounds like something that would be a horrible therapy. Let's let's see what happens if we do this. <clears throat> Starting out with 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, let, let's drink water before we do a tutorial. Not just delicious tea, which doesn't actually wet my throat for some reason. We, we've discussed that before, too. Water is the best hydrator. I should not neglect my water just because I have delicious sweet tea. <clears throat> Starting out with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. <clears throat> All right, that was passable. Catchy, slightly catchy throat or not, that was passable. In the tutorial, everything is flawless and nice. In the live stream, it's real life and everything sucks. No, it doesn't suck. Sometimes it does suck. Today does not suck. I was actually in an excellent, excellent mood before I crashed my PC. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we come. Dr. Crotron. I was just talking about you, Dr. Crotron. <clears throat> and excuse me for my, my slightly froggy throat. Yeah. Mm. Bit tired yourself, so the professionalism and pondering about the hydrating nature of water are both deeply amusing. Totes emosh. Thank you for the follow. Hi Doc, you're you're just in time for the nail art. We're just we're doing base coat. Nails look so much better with base coat. What my uh one of my resolutions, I mean it's not New Year's yet, but and it hasn't been a problem with 12 days, but is to not let my nails be naked any more this winter every time I've, I've a break has started it's been while my nails are naked I need to actually not remove a manicure until I'm ready to do blah, blah, ready to do the next manicure or um, if I'm not doing any nail art then I need to just stick on either like a clear or just like a plain polish I need to just do it And Beanie has returned. And Doc, don't you go giving Beanie any ideas. And and no no messages from Cheddar or Tiberius either. Mia seems uh much less interested in stream. We hardly ever see her. The little LED light didn't work. No. Why? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's such a great why opportunity. <laughs> and we uh I'm a, I'm a little totes this is Beanie this little great boy um Dr. Crotron I'm I'm sleep deprived and um <laughs> I'm really glad we're getting to the end of this series because I need I need sleep I need sleep where there's there's my blah 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 <laughs> He is the goodest boy, Toads. Yeah, he's the goodest. He's the goodest stream mascot. Yeah, yeah hi, Benny. You, you got fans, boy. Are we? How far has the sun moved? I would love to open the window again. Nope. 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 Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's let's take a look here. Let's let's take a look here before we move on to the manicure. We want we want the uh, simply not simply peel. I didn't call it simply peel, did I? It's ready for. I said ready for takeoff. The ready for takeoff. We want to be uh, really dry. Let's uh let's take a look here and see how much sleep I've had over the past week. And then, and then you guys will will know the level of my mind fuckery. And why are you not? Okay, you're plugged. Maybe did I not have it plugged into the charger? Probably not. Um. 
Are you, why isn't last night synced? Hello, are you frozen? <sighs> you are frozen. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, it's like I've got, you know, Fitbit. It, it tracks your sleep. This one tracks your sleep. And it does a pretty dang good job of it, actually. <clears throat> so, let's take a look here. And you can, you can judge my capabilities. Only hexagon glitter. Is it the Martha Stewart's? The big old honking ones? The, the, you, there's probably more glitter, but the other, the next ones you find will probably be too small. I have glitter from Michael's. And, uh... Some is, like, really large and some is really small. Okay, so let's start last Sunday, December 9th. Five hours, 56 minutes. Then each one will be, like, a different day. Monday... 5 hours 10 minutes Tuesday 4 hours 33 minutes Wednesday 5 hours 32 minutes Thursday 4 hours 58 minutes Friday 4 hours 26 minutes Saturday 6 hours 39 minutes so Saturday I actually didn't sleep bad I got to bed at like 4.27 which is early it's sinking last night still because I, I just am doing it now. Oh, now you're synced. How many? How much did I sleep last night, Fitbit? Why, why you no update? You claiming you updated? Show me. Oh, today, four hours fifty seven minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> but oh, but but okay. That, that was that was a complete sidetrack, but now you guys see why I'm so easily sidetracked and confused. Dr. Kurtra, why the light didn't work or you don't know? It just was broken. Borked. <laughs> oh yeah, like a diamond shape. Yeah, when I when I go to Michael's, especially when I'm looking for like their stuff that I can use for nail art, art purposes. Uh, like there's so many different places it could be like the Martha Stewart glitter is with all the other Martha Stewart stuff then there's like glitter in the scrapbooking section of a certain kind then there's glitter in like the craft section of a certain kind stickers in different places and all kinds of things I haven't been to wander around into Michael's lately get the mo what what is a multi multimeter? What is a multimeter, Doctor Crotron? Is it a, is it a thing to tell you if it's electronic is electric, or if it's electric is is God electronic, or if it's if the power is the thing that's not the thing that's working? <laughs> it meant oh I was um I was kind of right, I was kind of right aren't you guys on onward to uh to base coat to base base color base color <clears throat> the colors that we'll be using today are from colors by LaRoe these are the same colors that wait no yes I'm confusing myself okay no these are the same colors I was for a minute I literally forgot if I was doing nail art or a water marble <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are from Colors by LaRoe. You might recognize them from yesterday's design. We have Healing Waters as the blue. We have Tree of Lights as the green. We have Santa Baby as the red. And we have Sparkling Diamonds, which is the silver. I'm going to be using Sparkling Diamonds as my base color. And then I'm going to be protecting around my nails using Simply Peel and Tape. A part of me is tempted to re-record that. 
because of that little flake of green polish that snuck on there. But the part of me that got only four hours or whatever the fuck I said at sleep last night said, well, damn that. It's fine. All right, so we'll get our silver on here. Just one should be good enough since we're water marbling. Like yesterday, we did do two just to make sure it was nice and opaque to use as the background for that, uh, because the, the places where the vinyl was, it was, you know, it wasn't just the base color. It was a, it was a visible color. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for the charity tears. And, and thank you on behalf of Direct Relief also. Coming up on $150,000 that Twitch is going to be donating to Direct Relief. And all you have to do if you wish to participate is to cheer with hashtag charity. <clears throat> and snowflakes and musical notes. Wait, what? Oh, hearts and stars and squares with a hole in the middle. <laughs> and snowflakes and musical notes. Yeah, okay. What about what about the hearts? And you could paint over the heart part and make that where the light connects. And then the point would be the point of the light. I, I recall doing um, Christmas tree lights manicure with uh, rhinestones one year. And I think I used the teardrop shaped rhinestones. So a heart is not far off from a teardrop if you lay down the glitter first and then like design over it, you can kind of alter it a little bit. Unsolicited advice, check. Simp simple little unsolicited advice. <laughs> <laughs> And a half used bottle of glitter glue. <laughs> like somebody just went up in there with their project. Like, let me just let me just take care of this right here. All <laughs> mm. oh, 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 pink. Mm. That's kind of dumb too. Like, even if you use them as hearts, like, somebody might want some red hearts or some silver hearts or some gold heart, heart, blah, blah, gold hearts. Hey, caters. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where else. I mean, like, Target has some glitter, but they're probably not going to have a better selection than Michael's. Might be, I don't, do they have any of those multi, like, bags with a whole bunch of stuff in them? Maybe there's a, a usable shape in there. <clears throat> or what What were the other shapes? Let me scroll back up. The The musical notes, you could, you could cut off the, the stem of the musical notes. Or I suppose they're, like, all black or something silly. You know what I mean? Like you have a musical note and it's like, bloop. If you just cut off the bloop and just left with like, of course it's on the other side of town. The journey for glitter continues. The, I, I keep taking too long, I know, because the camera keeps turning off. Okay, tape. And I'm, I'm probably going to start getting a whole bunch of questions in this, in my video, because I'm not, I'm not explaining why I'm using both in every single video. I'm just doing it. Maybe when I do, like, the chrome water marble, I'll make sure to mention it, because... 
cross my fingers that that is as popular as I think it should be. Like, not even because I think I'm all that, but because I think people need to see that because I think it will put a smile on people's face. Like, how could you not smile at that? It's putting a smile on my face and I'm not even actually looking at it. I'm just thinking about it. Mm. I'm so, oh, oh, good. Yay. Yay. I, I like to think that I have good ideas. Um, like I tend to look at things a little bit differently than, than normal people, apparently. And that's okay. Like, uh, we're putting up the little small tree on the tabletop because, of course, Clark is, Clark is a pupper. Clark doesn't know nothing about Christmas and Clark likes to chew up anything he can put his mouth around. So full size Christmas tree was kind of not in the cards this year. And the small tree is the topper from an old tree and tried to figure out like, well, how to get it into the tree stand properly. And I had the thought to, uh, like wrap the bottom and some of that foamy stuff that they send in packing sometimes not peanuts and not bubble wrap but like cushy cushy foam and that actually worked out pretty good and and for anybody that's here and is wondering well, why why are you using both like i just said i'm not explaining every time it's because you get the benefits of both like with Simply Peel, I always get frustrated that my fingers stick together. With tape on the sides of the nail, you don't stick together. With tape, I would always get irritated that I couldn't, I couldn't flex my fingers. Well, with, with Simply Peel, I can flex my fingers. So we just use them each where they are best to be used. And it saves me on my Simply Peel. Then using Simply Peel, like around the whole the whole nail really would. <clears throat> Simple little Christmas miracle. Oops, that's, well, I guess that works. I was going to say that's almost not long enough. Because apparently my thumb is honking gigantic. Is that going to... That's fine. It's fine. So, the question will be, are we dipping two nails or three nails? It's all going to depend on how the design turns out in the cup. Yeah, it's, I mean, Chris, Christmas is close, you guys. Christmas is a, a week from Tuesday. I, I will finish recording 12 Days of Christmas one week before Christmas. That, I think, is an earliness record for me. And then there'll be, you know, a couple more days on YouTube because we're, like, two days behind on YouTube. Because here we are recording day, day 10. And on YouTube today, day 8 just went up. All right. Move the tape back over here. These will probably need to get scooched. And this will probably need to get scooched. And everybody needs to probably get zoomed out. Yeah, I mean, really the only thing um, left for me to do before Christmas is cookie day. So, well... And finish up this series of mine. I, I really do feel like I have that under control, though. We're, we're going to get through this. And then after this, we have two more days. Where is the... Culminating in the gold and silver chrome water marble. Oh, God, can you wait? I can't wait. <laughs> I, I literally, it's like... Oh! gonna be so freaking awesome 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well, I my rule is kind of I I really don't want any Christmas shit prior to Thanksgiving. You know, regardless of whether Thanksgiving is early or late, pre Thanksgiving leave me alone with the Halloween or with the with the Halloween shit with the Christmas shit especially before Halloween leave me alone with the Christmas shit seeing Christmas candy or Christmas candy Halloween candy and Christmas decorations next to each other at like Target would would send me into a little rant if I had anybody with me at Target to rant at like dude it's too fucking early <clears throat> Okay, um, so we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing 12 rings, I think should be good, and we're going to be, let's get a little bit more polish remover out here, we're going to be doing the chevrons, if, if I can manage it, if we get a really nice clean draw, we're going to dip three fingers, we're, we're going to do it. <clears throat> about the 11th yeah that's not too bad of a date because that's like a, almost exactly two weeks before Christmas the, the only thing I'm worried about the wrapping paper amethyst is getting that striped full nail nail, vin nail vinyl to apply smoothly like We'll, we'll just see As, especially certain of my nails like you know I've talked about how the curvature of the nail this way your your C curve which I don't have a super strong C curve I mean it's there I feel like I have chubby sidewalls but I don't have a deep C curve but some of my nails more than others like can I get a side profile here like look at my my ring finger is pretty flat but you look at my my index finger and it's more curved and I, I don't think there's anything you can really do to change that shit. I don't know why some of my nails, like my, my middle finger is more curved too. My pinky is more flat. So when you're dealing with curves this, this, this way and curves this way, and you got a flat vinyl, we'll just have to see. Maybe trimming involved, maybe crossing our fingers involved. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm nervous about. But just like with the... Uh, the stained glass one, I mean, there's no reason I can't do a little bit of cleanup afterward, either, um, you know, with a little bit of white or with a little bit of alcohol to just take off the chrome might be a better, might be a better bet. So, and anyway, that'll be tomorrow afternoon for anybody that can, uh, can join me for that. I mean, two o'clock is scheduled time. You guys have seen how that's been working out. I'm going to try. Maybe, maybe we'll have easy editing tonight and I'll get to bed early and I'll be on time. But honestly, I doubt it. I do. <clears throat> As usual for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Trying to go quickly here. Uh, sticky neck on that one. Try not to breathe down right on top of the water marble either. Don't need to be helping it to dry out quicker. Yeah, I'm pushing for 12. Mm. You know what? No, I'm not. We're going for 11. I don't want, I don't think I want to end on the red. Do I? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. We'll try it. Don't make me regret this red. Once your bullseye is built, you can go ahead and draw down to the top or down to the bottom and up to the top. 
we'll stretch out the bullseye a little bit and then we're gonna go from one side to the other not quite as tight as when we were drawing in our stripes but we're gonna be drawing in some fairly narrow chevrons hmm Two nails or three nails. Time to call it. We're doing three. This design is pretty wide, so I'm actually going to go ahead and dip three nails. I'm going to just turn it a bit so I can get a little bit of a better angle. Actually, I think I want to go in this way. Last minute decisions. Line them all up in there check where they are in relation to the design then go ahead and dip in with your orange stick go ahead and clean up that excess polish so it doesn't stick onto your design and once the surface is clear go ahead and slowly pull out and there's your water marble going to go ahead and remove the protection while the polish is still wet. Let's go ahead and grab one of the edges with a tweezer, pull it off. May or may not come off together. It's one of the downsides of using this combination, but overall I still do prefer it. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish marbling my other nails. That one almost came off altogether. Guys, this looks so good. So good. So good. So good. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna dip our thumb in our pinky. I was worried. Even as I was doing it, I was worried. A lot of times, I'll have enough room, and honestly, I'll fail the dip. Um, and I'll get, like, one of the nails on the side with, like, a wonky, edgy part of a design that really is not what I wanted to be aiming for. I'm not mad that I put the red in. The red cooperated. So, we're going to try and just do exactly that same thing again. Uh, 12 drops narrow chevrons that will hopefully match the width of the other fingers and like when I dip my thumb and my pinky together it kind of flips the design on the thumb because of the way I hold them but in this case the design is is the same no matter which direction so that's it's a non-issue sometimes it's something that you do want to be aware of sometimes I really don't mind it um Certain designs, it looks really actually natural for the design to be flipped on the thumb. Like when I when I pose my hand together, it's like, oh, that actually, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. Often I do it intentionally. Um, let's just go right here. It's another pretty good stretch, and I'm just gonna start from the top this time. Not that it really matters. Fairly narrow, very light touch. Keep your keep your tip clean. And use the pointiest part of the orange sticker of whatever tool you're using. See, I feel like this one is not doing quite as well near the edges, so I'm glad that this one is actually only gonna be two nails. We'll have to see on the other hand, we'll have to make a judgment call of which which cup will be two hands and which hand will be just one. So we do our thumb and pinky together. We try to get these other nails out of the way as much as possible. And uh, mm, you know, let's actually do like this. I know it doesn't look that different, but trust me. You guys trust me, right? Oh, 
um, difficult to clean up with this particular dip. Just do your best. Try to kind of straighten them out. Pull them out. Ooh, that one got weird. That one got weird. Wow. Okay. Wow. Am I going to keep that? It's completely inconsistent. It just got in there crooked and weird. The thumb looks great. Hello, camera. The thumb looks great. The pinky looks... It doesn't look like shit. I kind of want to say it looks like shit, but it looks like something completely else. Look at that little gloob. Glooby glommy, slooby slommy. I don't know what that means. It just came out of my mouth. Um... Well, shit, you guys. I kind of like it, but it's such a mistake. Oh, it's such a mistake. I must have just... I don't even know. Like, when they're lined up next to each other, it should have... The chevron should have just continued over. It must have gotten like that. Or like... No, like this. I don't know. <laughs> mm hmm Mm. Hey, mold dirty. Yes, Ebru, Ebru paper, water marbling art is really cool. I I have some ideas I've seen done in Ebru that I still want to give a try in water marbling. Yeah, the chrome manicure is gonna be really cool. Yeah, I I mean I think I'm inclined to just because I mean the whole point was to make this a less dips cup a less dips cup a less cups manny um but wow like that's impressively crooked or i just got it too close like i said too close to the edge and you end up with a wonky pattern but it still has a lot of different colors i feel like if we had gone slightly this way into the design we would have ended up with like a really big green swath and actually not much design so, yeah, it's just going to be a special little flower over there, I guess, you guys. <laughs> I just, when you said not, or when I read without being rude, I'm just like picturing like, ah, just fuck it. Just sitting in line with your cell phone out with Twitch like blaring. And how, like, like, like a range of expressions you would expect to see around you. Like people like just confused, people offended, a couple people like, oh, hey, it's Twitch. What you watching? Like, <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, that's, uh, that's not ideal, but we're, we're leaving it because we're not, we're not doing another, we're not doing another cup just for the pinky. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here, like, like this, oh. a little bit more, there we go, <clears throat> and oh my, getting low on the Q-tips again, how many times have I filled up Q-tips during this series? <laughs> again, like, I like Q-tips for spots on the skin, because they pick up a lot of polish the brush the brush is limited in how much it can really pick up and then you just end up with acetone like flooded on your skin and colorful colorful knuckles I'm gonna get right in there some of these are really good sometimes I feel like tape if you, if you have really straight sidewalls, that tape actually does a better job than liquid latex. Um, at least for me. Like like I said, with my with my deep sidewalls and cuticles, I feel like if I tried to like get that close with Simply Peel, I end up with it like stuck in there and it doesn't want to peel properly. Whereas with tape, I mean like look at the si the sides of my nails, you guys. They're actually cleaner than they usually are with Simply Peel. But, 
shapes not curved now they of course make those things that are like little u-shaped stickers that you can use for protection in fact you know i actually have some of those the thing i don't like about those is they are very expensive if if you're doing your nail art on any kind of a regular basis that can't be your regular go-to because it's it's just too ridiculous it's expensive simply peel is a little bit on the expensive side too regular old office tape is cheap so I, I can't see myself going back to just using simply peel when I really like started thinking about it it's like you know what this actually makes a ton of sense let's do it I love that this camera can handle like when I do this pose and and properly like focus my other my old camera would have trouble with this pose sometimes actually being in focus and it's a lot um, cleaner of a shot when doing the cuticles uh, especially like real close up in the cuticles than like when I have my hand in the other position. <clears throat> and then we'll marble the right hand. And I think we're making pretty good time today for once. I mean, we dilly dallied a little bit at the start of stream, but we're on track. We're, we're so on track, you guys. I might actually be able to go get my prescriptions today. Hmm. Then I like to get in there a little closer, closer faced than I can quite manage on camera too, to really get in those cuticles. Yeah, the nail aprons. Is that what they're actually called or is that just what people call them? I mean, they look like stretchy, weird tape. I suppose I could actually use the ones that I have. Clark has a, has a new toy and I can hear him downstairs playing with it, like scooting it along on the floor and stuff. It's a new bone. He, he really goes through toys so quickly he just chews them up so much until they have to be taken away and replaced with a new toy of a hopefully sturdier variety but then it turns out to not actually be sturdier most of the time every now and then you find something durable but man he is he is the most aggressive tour we've ever had god that little pinky <laughs> Um, okay, let's tape. Don't need to be that close. Let's let's zoom out. I mean, it's a good name for them. Yeah, cause see, like when I'm doing the tape, like I really it's almost hard to see because it's invisible tape, but I just get right freaking up there next to my nail. Sometimes I actually do get a little even too close, but I mean, that's my fault. That's not the tape's fault. And on my right hand, as we will still be uh, grabbing polish bottles and stuff, we'll be needing to... Uh, um okay we we had a we had a rhythm we had a little song i don't remember it the tuck and the wrap or the something of course there was also lift it and tip it and drip it is that appropriate is that is that the correct one that was that was for water marbling with empty bottles of polish 
I don't remember what the one for tape tape folding was. Alright, so. Oh, camera, you're so impatient. And then we'll just get our simple peel on here. Got, got goobers in the neck again. I'm going to need to remember to clean it once I'm done streaming. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. This tape's on here kind of goofy, but I don't care. It is what it is. Yeah, and the great thing about if I do have time to go out to the pharmacy, you guys means that I can actually get something for dinner while I'm out too instead of sitting at home looking at the cupboards and trying to figure out what is the least effort thing I could cook because like that's the thing that always happens to me it's not that there's nothing in this house to eat it's nothing that I feel like cooking because I get exhausted after stream just uh, inevitably <clears throat> yes tip it and dip it and drip it <laughs> I think these came out pretty good too like the red excuse me I feel like the red could be a little bit brighter and I feel like the green could be a little bit more saturated but I don't dislike the way that they look here mm -mm. Mm. and there may be some staining I mean you guys see how the water is not clear anymore we've got a tinted water or tainted water I suppose I could say okay don't drop bottles of polish just because you have tape on your fingers let's clean off the surface before we start our right hand spread it to the edges I don't, I don't usually bother to like fold it up like this on my left hand because I'm not picking stuff up with my left hand. But if you don't, when it's on your right hand, then things get suddenly awkward. I mean, it's still kind of awkward, but even more awkward. Alrighty. Go fast. Don't spill anything. blue green and the red that makes six blue green red makes nine and one more round we'll make twelve Be nice to me, nail polish. Hmm. Hmm. This will maybe be the thumb on the pinky, just because I'm getting I'm getting a little bit of drag at the edges. not too bad but hopefully I can get a slightly better one for the other see or maybe I just hit one of these with the pinky that's at a little bit of an angle you see this right here maybe that's what's on the pinky maybe I didn't have them crooked well let's see if we can get these ones straight hmm Mm. Okay. 
get this other side. That's closer to a chevron. Still got some kind of weird stuff going on with it. Um, here we go. <laughs> Miasma. Mm. Oops. So close to coming off together. Still working on that a little bit. My uh, my technique. Mm. Okay. So this should be our last cup. And we'll hopefully get a whole cup's worth of design and we'll be able to get our three nail dip. Because I don't want to have to do just two nails and then have like an extra cup of polish. Or an extra, I mean yeah, an extra bullseye. Try to go really fast to keep it from drying. Like you want to go fast, but you don't want to tip over polish, and you don't want to miss drip in the bullseye. Like that happens far too often. Like trying to go fast, and then all of a sudden your drop is not in the middle. Shit, come on here, green. Alrighty. Oh shit! See right there. Okay, that this is how we're fixing that. We're gonna draw right through it. See how it almost disappeared? Now, if that was a bigger drop, that wouldn't have worked. But it wasn't, and it did. Light, light, light touch. The lighter. Two, two hairs and some air, as Bob Ross would say. The lighter, literally the better. You get less drag, you get better design, cleaner design. And I feel like this is a little bit slightly wide, but I'm, I'm going with it. We're going to go, we're going to go like this. Okay, hope that was good. I hope it was good. Oh yeah. Little little bit weirdly I feel like I didn't have my nails quite next to each other, but I like that. And I feel like the chevrons were just a little bit wide compared to the other hand. But I, I think it'll be good. Thank you, Fuzzy. Yeah. Come here. Mm -hmm. Oh. And Ta da. So come on here. Okay. That just went somewhere. 
yeah, very, very slight, slightly wider. Like you see the two, let, let me zoom in a little bit here. You can see these right next to each other. So you see how this one kind of is just like one major uh, like chevron with a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. And this one is more like one and a half. But overall, we're, we're good there. Um, actually, that's maybe just a little bit close while I'm while I'm doing cleanup on this hand. But that's that's pretty good. That's actually there. Oh, two wash cycles because it doesn't want to spin. I think sometimes it's like it gets it gets unbalanced or something in there. Ninja. How's it going, feller? I hope you're having a relaxing weekend because your weekdays are so stressful, man. Studying. Ninjas are a are friendly local neighborhood doctor, you guys, if you didn't know. Well, maybe not not local neighborhood doctor, but I mean, as far as Twitch goes. <laughs> Please feel free to ask him all your medical questions to quiz him in chat. Why does this hurt, Ninja? Why, why do my knees hurt when I'm not even standing up? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> let's close these up let's close these up because closing these that means we only have one more opportunity for polished spillage today before we can call that a win and I don't think I've ever really spilled my bottle of sash feet so that's probably that's probably going to be fine please, please please help you study please help you become an awesome doctor okay ninja home again we we have successfully completed musicals michael's run all while having a successful i mean mostly successful where's my little wonky where's my camera right here little wonky friend here <laughs> hmm. this this is almost awkwardly close isn't it because it's hard for me to stay in frame Let's uh let's zoom out just a notch. There. Yeah, everybody's here, Ninja. Well, most people are here. Is Sun not here? I wonder what Sun's up to. Ooh, Pandex best. Oh, you know what? You just almost you might have just changed my mind, music gal. Cause I was thinking when I went out to the pharmacy. Which which should be possible, although close, unless I run into some heretofore unforeseen. That's a great combination, isn't it? Heretofore unforeseen. Uh, problem. Like I think the pharmacy is open till six, and it is currently four fifty, and the pharmacy is like I mean five minutes away. Not even. But instead of Devani's, I could get Leanne Chin. Hmm, y'all. Except, you know, I'm not a super fan of the one over at Brookdale because it's ghetto. The one in Golden Valley is nicer, but that's not... That's not by the pharmacy. Mmm, <clears throat> sounds so good, though. I mean, once I'm out, I suppose I could just, like, go over there. It's not because that far... To go to the one with the food I actually want to eat. <laughs> so dang sad. Like, you stupid employees. Can't you cook like these not stupid employees over here? I know you got the same ass recipe. Mmm. These are so juicy and colorful. You know what? Th this water marble... I'm happier about my change in polishes 
because of this water marble than I even am because of yesterday's manicure. This this is not at all what this would have what the, what the intention was if we had stuck with the uh, with the color paints. Um. And so I'm I'm really glad that this water marble had the opportunity to to become a water marble because we decided to go with with different colors for the for the nail art portion. Excuse me. Plus, it was like 80 billion times easier than what I had planned for the uh, color paints. <laughs> With all the alternating of the order of the colors and making things way too complicated than they needed to be. I think both of these, the this water marble and the nail art, are high impact for I don't want to say low effort but lower effort than you might anticipate you know what I mean they're they're very and I mean the white background never does it the hugest favors it's just I I love these two these these two nails I mean like this one's okay too but like those two that's so good I even, I mean, honestly, if it, I love this one, but I would love it so much more if, if that had been the plan. Hey, LJ, these are all, uh, colors by LaRoe. So, and this is the base color. Well, they barely fit on there, but yeah, they, uh, Sometimes I, I was really kind of skeptical because some of them are a little bit on the glitter glitterier side and glitter can make marbling difficult. But they all spread really nice. In fact, the least glittery one, the red, was kind of the most stubborn in the water. Um, got anything else I want to do on this hand before we top coat? Just a little bit. Like I said, you guys, I'm like hyper aware of my cleanup since I switched my cameras because I watched, well, I started watching my videos back. I'm like, okay, you, this is, this feels like you can see deeper into my cuticles and see all the imperfections. So let's, let's try to minimize all that for real. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Okay, so let's. Get the camera back on. Let's. Because you know what time it is, you guys. It's everybody's favorite time. It's top coat time. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Almost forgot. Of course, I don't think I have very many. Do I have any? I have one here on the thumb. Bubbles, you guys. Don't don't neglect your bubbles. You see it right, right there? You don't want that to pop. And it's right, it's kind of right on the seam of the chevron. So there's a beanie here on there. You want to press, press flat and slightly pull in the direction of the chevron. To smooth it down right into the pattern. Now it's not sticking up anymore. We got any other glaringly obvious ones? That's really the only one. I see a couple other like water spots leftovers, but I there's a little tiny small bubble. I don't really see. And you guys know we've been having problems with bubbles for whatever reason. This is very very minimal bubbles. That's super nice. That's actually great. Yeah, ninja. <clears throat> once you've finished cleaning up be sure to press any bubbles flat then we're going to be finishing with a top coat and as usual I'm using sesh feet oh my gosh here it comes oh top coat oh, 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 so good <laughs> oh it's the best the best part oh look at all these colors just jump 
they just jump with that top coat oh yeah Uh. Mm -hmm. top coat top coat you're my best friend no I know I act a fool for top coat but I mean come on look at this Look, you know what? It's it's not showing up as awesome it is on the webcam. It's still showing up awesome. But I hope all you guys that are watching peep the YouTube video. Just fast forward right to the end to see the top coat and see how my new camera catches this. Oh, it's so good. And even the red. I was thinking the red was too dull. The top coat brings it up perfectly. The top coat really just does all the good things that need doing. <laughs> the transition between serious mode and twitch mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more one more whole hand of, of delicious top coat, you guys. I wonder, you know, it's so, it's so dark. Would this, would this help my webcam? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For, for y'all's view and pleasure, black background mode. <laughs> it's so good. It's my favorite part. Uh, which was it? Not yesterday. Maybe it was, oh, it was the green and silver water marble, I think. That was kind of a, like a not as satisfying top coat because it didn't change it. Like you don't get to see that transformation. Like look at these two next to each other. It's like, I want to be beautiful. Make me glossy. Okay. You could be glossy too. Be beautiful just like all the other nails. Mm. Bob Ross be doing that too sometimes. He'd be like, mm. <laughs> it's always so funny. It's like, yeah, Bob's enjoying this one. <laughs> if if I can hit up that sinful colors clearance when I go get my, my prescriptions, you bet. I've I've got plenty of water marbles using fucking wet and wild. I mean Sesh Veet makes everything lovely. <laughs> so good oh, it's so good <laughs> no lumps no bumps no need for a second layer of top coat although I might stick one on just to ensure we get a good peel because like I said thicker sli slightly thicker helps and in this case all we've got is one base color pretty thin coat and water marbling which is automatically a thin coat so most of the, the thickness of this manicure is coming from that plump, plush Sesh Vite. Um, might do a second coat just to ensure that... See, and see how, like, it's not as great now with the white? Like, the webcam just can't keep up. But you guys, you guys got a taste of the actual juiciness. Yes, no polish surgery needed. No bottles of polish spilled. Versus yesterday's three bottles of polish spilled <laughs> plump plush and thick and glossy and <clears throat> dare I say it looks moist <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't help myself let me stop let me let me find somewhere to send you guys lovely people so I can uh plan is to go okay I, I gotta finish like after I finish streaming I finished taking my hand pictures and stuff. I, I should do that before I leave, but I think I should still have time to go to the, uh, to the pharmacy. And then, um, uh, tonight I'm going to do a short hollow night stream. Probably. If I somehow feel overwhelmed and exhausted, then it might not happen. But I really, I haven't played hollow night since last Sunday. I miss my favorite game. 
Um, I, I would really like to be able to do that. And, uh, I'm, well, I could, I could send you guys over here. Yeah. Let's, uh, that, that, that'll be a good place to send you guys. So yes, if you would like to hang out with me some more, I would love that. And, uh, you can, you can stop back in this evening. If you are not interested in video games, but you want to see some more nail art tomorrow afternoon, same ish time, same place. We are going to be working on the gift wrap nails and Tuesday evening will be the finale of the series. You guys want to see it one more time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Gold and silver chromed out water marble Tuesday night. Be there, be square. Um, yeah. Well, the thing is, Karen, the new camera doesn't need it. The new camera basically shows it how the webcam showed it with the black on the napkin with no problem. It's, it's impressive. It's impressive to me because I used to constantly have problems getting stuff to show up really, um, with my old camera. I'm just gonna, I just turned it on. I want to see if it does look much different. Very, very slightly. Um, and it, it's, it really makes me feel good because it reinforces my decision to go with this camera. It was the most expensive option that I was looking at. I mean, there's way more expensive cameras because of this one inch image sensor, image sensor, which I guess is like way bigger than they usually are. But when I looked at it, it was like this large image sensor lets you have more depth of color. And, um, when you have like high contrast, like the white background and slightly darker nails, it deals with that better, which is, is so obvious when I'm literally just looking between my webcam, which I can see right there, and the screen of my camera, which I can see right here. It's two completely different, it, it's two completely different things. But yeah, the, the webcam, I, or the webcam, the, my new camera, the uh, Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, which is a freaking mouthful, is um really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the gold and silver 2B. Yeah, yeah, Karen, it's sharp. And I and I guess that's, it's the same, you know, it's 1080, but I guess it's the, the 60 frames per second really are making that, that huge difference. Um, I, I don't know this person real well, so I'm just going to host rather than raid. But uh, I think you guys have enjoyed her before. Uh, she's a potter. Looks like she's glazing today. So, uh, yeah. I hope I'll see you guys this evening. If I don't see you then, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't see you then, I hope I'll see you Tuesday. If I don't see you any of those times, I'm still glad that I saw you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And of course, as always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Stop stream. Very important.